Okay, um, we're going to get started with the next session. Um, this is the Cloud Containers and DevOps track. Our next, next speakers are Nam and Dai. They're both software engineers at Fujitsu. And they're going to be talking about rolling upgrades in microservice systems. So without further ado. So hi, guy. So thank you all for being here. Uh, today we come here with the, the topic rolling upgrades in microservices. And uh, by the way, I'm Dai. And I'm working as an upstream developer for OpenStack in Fujitsu. And this is Nam, my coworker. And uh, if you want to know, Borderworld is um, the OpenStack uh, user of OpenStack community in Vietnam. Yeah, so in this talk, we want to talk about the uh, uh, microservices and we want to talk about the uh, rolling upgrades and we really want to show you a big example for rolling updates in microservices. And we also want to get for more questions or more, more comments from all of you. But uh, feel free to interrupt at any time. So let's start with the first part. OK, hi. Uh, before we are understanding the what is rolling arrest, I would like to introduce you about the, what, is, what is microservices. And <laughs> as you can see, microservices is uh, an approach to application development. And with, uh, with uh, a large application is built as a setup of model service. And uh, each of services will take care of a specific function or function. And if uh, your application convert to the microservice uh, approach, you will get uh, fixable, more stable, and faster and easier to update. Uh, this is the fun, funny picture you can see that this is the uh, microservices uh, approach and uh, with uh, many gold fish. And you can see here it's a suck. And the, what is a suck? So before we have a microservice, we have a monolithic architecture. Uh, you can see imagine, imagine that if you want to build an application, and uh, with a monolithic architecture, you will build um, some function and some function in the single service, and uh, did other interactive with other the uh, APIs. But uh, there will be problem when uh, your application grow up because with monolithic, uh, monolithic architecture, uh, if your application very big, so it at that time it's very hard to to scale out and or scale up and or uh, maintain the code because the code at that time the code is very huge. However, but however, with uh, microservices architecture, the, instead of building the single service, we uh, we will split the many services, and each service will take care of specific function. Uh, with with microservices architecture, uh, you will get uh, we can get the uh, some benefits like uh, independent development. Uh, one thing, one thing, single team. We, we can focus on uh, develop, testing, and deploy the each microservice. In independent development is mean that uh, you can uh, each uh, team can uh, deploy the other uh, edge service with a small focus team. Uh, each, each team, each team, we can uh, uh, take care of specific with the smaller code. That means it. Uh, that means uh, it's easy to uh, to get started with uh, when uh, we have a new new employee to join the service. Fail, I, uh, fail isolation uh, with the microservice. Normally, we have a SA solution uh, to uh, for each service. So it means uh, when each service dies, it will not affect the whole application. Mixed technology stack. You can uh, you can uh, decide to you can decide to choose the the what uh, what technology to get the best performance for each service. Right. 
uh, independent scaling, you can, uh, when we have a lot of users using the application, you can uh, uh, scale out, uh, so you can scale out each service to to uh, uh, respond respond to uh, API request from user. That is the microservices, and uh, we have uh, the benefits of microservice. Uh, after that, we will show the, show you what is your rolling upgrade feature. Okay, so uh, in this part, I want to show you about the rolling upgrades and some sensitive points during your rolling upgrades process. So I saw that all of you agree with me that uh, no matter what programming language are you using and no matter what uh, platform uh, the app, the application is running on, and we at uh, someday we need to upgrade our application. So. For some upgrade common way, we have the blue green and we have carry. And for blue green, we need to prepare a new similar one cluster like the O1 and just switch on the user to from old version to new version. And with carry, we do the same thing, but we just prepare, we just start with a small so small cluster and we gradually switch user from old cluster to new cluster. And both of these, we need to interact to the external layer like uh, LB or SA. And yeah, so now I want to introduce about the, the uh, new solution for upgrade that we no need to prepare. We even don't need to prepare a new cluster. Right, so actually, we have uh, so many definitions around about rolling upgrade from Oracle, from VMware, or from something else. But basically, rolling upgrade allow a distributed system running well while we upgrade part by part of system. And so, what new in rolling upgrade? With rolling upgrade, we no need to using the new database, and we using the same database for the both of the old version and new version. And we also no need to mark to interact with the external layer. And we also no need to require many physical physical resources in for the role upgrade process. But uh, for that we need to require some compatible backward compatible in self service and we may have uh, some downtime. So how or rolling up uh, work. Imagine we have uh, two service, service A, A and B, and both of us mm, communicate with each other via HTTP. And inside each service, we have some component that uh, communicate with each other component via message And when uh, service A and service B is serving the user, we can upgrade the system part by part and this is transferred with the la user layer. And be aware that during the upgrade process we need we will have uh, two versions. Both of us will communicate with each other. So we need to care about the API interface and we need to care about the the database. And that's why during upgrade we have some sensitive point around the uh, API and MSQ, I mean the HTTP API and MSQ interface. And we need to care about the database because we are using the same database for both the version. And we also need to take a look on the some chain in backend. So what's the problem? We, we, we can change the HTTP interface or some MSQ interface. And we also need to add some some column or some table for the database, and we maybe we using some backend that uh, that change something in the new version. And during upgrade process, we need to care about that, and uh, maybe we can solve the problem with some cost by. And this is so this is so that we need the multi version interoperability for the some. API some interface chain like ATPI and uh, MSQ interface. And we need a mechanism like online schema migration 
to to uh, miners uh, that by between the old schema and new schema to get to f for both the version working well in the same database. Okay, and now we need to show you a very, very big example about this uh, rolling up in microservices. Okay, so, uh, I believe here, anyone here are familiar with the cloud meeting and OpenStack. Uh, Overviews OpenStack is a uh, uh, open source community to uh, provide uh, to employ uh, implement the cloud computing and uh, provide uh, some resource like storage, network, and uh, compute uh, via API. And um, most uh, project most uh, project in OpenStack already implement the microservice architecture. Uh, for example, you can uh, we have a Cinder project. And uh, Cinder project is uh, a project to manage uh, volume in OpenStack. And uh, you can see here, uh, with Cinder, we have uh, four main uh, components. The first is uh, API, Cinder API to, uh, to, take, to explore API and get requests from the other project or user. Uh, Cinder scaler to scaler when we create a new volume and uh, Cinder volume to create new volume and uh, Cinder backup to uh, backup uh, volume. Uh, you can see here, uh, uh, sin, uh, as each, com each component in Cinder interact with each other by AMQP, you AMQP and uh, interact with other, other projects via RESTful API. This is uh, uh, the microservice architecture and uh, <coughs> And uh, for now, Cinder already already implement some uh, some uh, uh, already implement the rolling upgrades in Cinder and the one. So what what what's the main point Cinder need to soon to get the rolling upgrade? The first thing is that the multi version interoperability and the online schema migration. First, uh, the multi-version interoperability with the API versioning. Uh, the, in the beginning, uh, even in the beginning of Cinder, Cinder already sub, uh, implement the Cinder world two, but for now, Cinder already uh, Cinder world three. However, user can st uh, still can send the send uh, Cinder world two, uh, world two to the Cinder world three. It means that uh, Cinder world three already support the Cinder version two. And you can see here, <coughs> if the user sends the uh, version bar, uh, version three, uh, uh, this is the code, and uh, Cinder, Cinder version two, this is the code. That is the code in Cinder with the with the multi-version interoperability API micro versioning, micro versioning. Uh, inside of Cinder version three, we have uh, the different. Uh, Cinder version like uh, Cinder version 3.2 uh, and or Cinder version 3.22. Uh, two. <coughs> you can see here if the user send the uh, send a Cinder version, the, this this type of code is check the version uh, Cinder. If it's up, uh, user send the version 3 3.21, uh, Cinder version will append uh, some information like that. With the AMQP, uh, as I mentioned that, uh, Cinder Scaler will interact with uh, Cinder Volume via AMQP. It means that uh, in scale up we uh, in scale up we rolling upgrade feature. In scale up we rolling up rolling upgrade feature. Uh, we will upgrade the each component at at, at, at that at a time. So it means that if the Cinder Scaler already upgrade upgrade. Uh, the code in Cinder will check in SkyUp in SkyUp Cinder Scaler want to send a message with the version 3.5, but uh, we uh, we don't we don't upgrade the Cinder Cinder volume. It means that Cinder volume cannot only is only available with the Cinder 3.0. At that time, the Cinder Scaler at the new version need to check. Yeah, need to check before sending. And uh, you can see here, here's the code. Uh, if 
uh, we can send the sin can uh, if client cannot send the version 3.5, it need to downgrade down version before sending. <coughs> you can see here. Uh, with the uh, online schema migration, normally we have uh, two solutions uh, solve this problem. The first is the uh, trigger bay. It means that we use the trigger function in database. And the uh, trigger less means that uh, don't use the trigger. And normally we have uh, th uh, three phase. The first is a uh, expand phase to when we want to create a new volume or new table in database. The second phase is a migrate phase to micro data from the old schema to new schema and uh, contract phase to, to uh, delete the old table or column which uh, are not no longer used at and released. That, uh, that is three phase. And uh, however, the, the online schema migration inside we, we uh, compile the three phase, the one compile the three phase into one phase. It means that Cinder need to create a new two rule. The first rule is scale up. If the column at the end list, if the column A will be not you as the end list, and uh, uh, we need to add a new column or table at the end list. But however, at the end and and plus one release, there there will be have there will be two rules. The first rule is don't allow to remove A, and uh, the rule two is uh, can add a new table or column, but uh, the, default of val the default value of uh, them must be none. Uh, when we upgrade, upgrade to uh, N plus two release, uh, the column A will be uh, no longer used, so at that time we can remove uh, the A column or table. <coughs> That is uh, something uh, some some points in the already shown to get the rolling update, and we already test we already tested the rolling update in Cinder, and the the result is quite good. And uh, maybe during update, uh, we have only one or two requests to fail requests. That's only one or two fail requests. Okay, that on the uh, Cinder gets a rolling update. Okay, that is the. Uh, our presentation. Thank you for listening. And do you have any question? So, is there any question? So, thank you. Thank you again. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have um, a bit more time to the next speaker. But if they're here and want to get set up a bit early, we'll. Um.